some tips for getting pregnant faster. You are ready to get pregnant. Now, once you are ready to start a family, waiting is the last thing you want to do. Never forget Mother Nature has a hand in everything. But there are some things you can do to better your chances of getting a bun in the oven. 1. Get a checkup from your doctor. Before you start trying to heat up the oven, get a checkup. Ask your doctor if your body can even handle making a baby. You should try to be as healthy as you can for yourself and the future baby. If you have any medical problems, get those under control before you think about making a baby. 2. Get to know your cycle. How much do you know about your menstrual cycle? Really understanding helps you know when you're most fertile. Ovulation is the best time to get pregnant. This is when you should be making sheet music. It helps to become aware of the signs of ovulation, such as a change in your cervical mucus. It usually becomes thin and slippery when you are most fertile. Ovulation prediction kits can also help you predict the best time to get pregnant. Not only can they help assure you that you are ovulating, if you are having infrequent intercourse. This tells you when to have it to increase your chances of getting pregnant. 3. Don't worry about the best positions for getting pregnant. Myths abound about the best positions for getting pregnant, but they are just that, myths. There is really no scientific evidence saying that the missionary position is better than the woman being on top when it comes to maximizing your chances of making a baby. Certain gravity-defying positions such as sitting or standing during intercourse, however, may discourage sperm from traveling upstream. 4. Stay in bed right after intercourse. You have probably heard this one. Lie in bed with your feet in the air after having sex to increase your chances of getting pregnant. The verdict? Not totally true. It's good advice to lay in bed for 10 to 15 minutes after intercourse, but you don't need your feet in the air. Your pelvis does not move when you put your legs in the air. Don't go to the bathroom during this time either, he says. If you wait 10 to 15 minutes, the sperm that is going to get into the cervix will be in the cervix. 5. Don't overdo it. Having sex every day even during ovulation will not necessarily increase your chances of getting pregnant. In general, every other night around the time of ovulation helps increase your chance of getting pregnant, Goldfarb says. Sperm can live up to five days inside your body. The best suggestion is to have sex regularly, when you're ovulating, and when you're not. 6. De-stress any way you can. Try not to get stressed out about starting a family. You may roll your eyes if someone says, just relax, and it will happen but stress can actually interfere with ovulation. So the more relaxed you are, the better. Whatever helps you de-stress is fine, as long as it's healthy. And although drinking too much alcohol when trying to get pregnant isn't smart, a glass of wine won't hurt. 7. Live a healthy life. Exercising is a healthy habit. Especially, it helps keep you at your ideal weight. Just like anything else, though, you can get too much of a good thing. Too much exercise can cause you not to ovulate. What's too much? It may be different for different women. If you are a hardcore exerciser and are still getting your period regularly, your exercise regimen is most likely not a problem. Your menstrual period is not the first thing to go if you are exercising too heavily. The first thing that happens is that you have a shorter second half of your cycle. You should have a period 14 days after you ovulate, but too much exercise can shorten this phase. This would be the first hint that you need to curtail your fitness regimen. Tracking how long it takes you to get a period after you ovulate as the best way to know for sure.